In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed a file within your Word document. Maybe you're working on an annual report or something and you want to attach a spreadsheet within your document. There are ways that you can do this without having to actually create extra pages of your document and then copy and paste the contents of that spreadsheet into your document. You can actually insert the file as an object within your Word document. And then when the user clicks on the icon, they'll open up an actual static attachment of of that document that you're embedding. And there is a difference between linking and embedding a static document. I'm gonna cover the difference between the two. All right, the first thing you have to do is open up your Word document and place your cursor wherever you want to insert this embedded file. And uh, come up to the Insert tab in Microsoft Word. Come over to the text area and drop down where it says Object select object and then come over here and click on the tab that says create from file and we're selecting this tab because we're going to pick a file that we've already created and saved and so then what we're going to do is browse and find the file that we want to attach in the document and i'm going to navigate to where i have my document saved i'm going to select it and click on insert now from here, we have an option to select this box that says link to file. Just know that if you select this option, then what it does is it'll embed an icon and the, when the user opens it, it will point to the source document wherever that source document is saved. If we leave it unchecked, which is what we're gonna do today, we're gonna leave this box unchecked because we want to actually attach a static copy of that file into the, into the Word document. The main difference there is if you click this box to have it a link, as a link, you need to make sure that the source file is somewhere saved that your users are going to be able to access when they open the document and double click on the icon. Okay, then we're going to select display as icon. And so here we have an option to change the icon. And we have a couple of different options here that will pop up. So you can select whichever one you like, whichever one that you think looks good. You can scroll through and see that there's just different types of icons that you can select. I like this top one here that's green. So I'm gonna select that and click OK. And then I'm going to click OK. And ex uh, Word is now embedding a static copy of that file, the Excel workbook that I have in the document. So this is exactly what it will look like. So users who open up this Word document will be able to double click on this spreadsheet here and they'll be able to open the document. It'll be a static copy of that document. So just keep in mind, if you ever do make changes to that attachment, you'll need to come in, delete the old one and attach the new one. Where Whereas if you had linked it to the source file, whenever you make updates to the source file and a user opens the Word document, they would open the most up-to-date version of that file. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. Subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.